Needham Boys Basketball has become one of the premier programs in the state of Massachusetts. The Rockets have compiled a 38-9 record over the past two seasons, which has also included their first conference championship in over 30 years and a sectional title. Chris Dugan stopped by practice this week to find out why the Rockets are hungrier for even more this season. Needham Boys Basketball reached new heights in 2017, capturing their first ever sectional title. And while they are proud of their past accomplishments, the Rockets are determined to soar even further. We're a talented team, and I think we know that. Um, and I also think we know that we could have won that game against Cambridge last year, and uh, we could have won that state chip. I think that that uh, the fact that we cut it a little short is, is a nice way to uh, get, get gain that energy for this year and, and get that drive up in that uh, that kind of hunger. Um, so I think that knowing that we could have done better is a good way to start the season. Um, kind of expecting that we're going to be the ones that people people want to beat and. Uh, we know as a team that we're strong enough to beat them and, and to get to that state championship and win it. I think we always expected a lot out of our grade, even when we were younger. But last year, knowing we've been there and that we've already gotten that far before we even became seniors, it puts a little more pressure on us to do it. It also gives us some experience and it definitely will help later on in the season. Last year, you definitely see some kids weren't always comfortable, at least in the beginning of games, late in the tournament, and now I think that will help us a lot. I think we certainly have high expectations. Um, a lot of success last year, especially breaking records and everything, but there certainly still is a huge chip on our shoulders. It falling short to Cambridge last year, that really was tough. So definitely high expectations within ourselves. I think the community's got high expectations for us as well, but um, definitely expect a lot of each other. And I think that shows in practice, really pushing each other and coach getting the most out of us and ourselves getting the most out of each other too. With great success comes great opportunity. And the Rockets' schedule this season is arguably the most challenging slate they have played. But the team is excited for the challenge and prepared to bring the intensity on a nightly basis. I mean, we just got to get out there, do our best. We, we've built some great chemistry. We've been playing with each other for I don't know how long now. It's been too long. And um, we're just trying to do our best, live up to the town's expectations, hopefully make some people proud. Taking it day by day, not looking forward to like a game in the future. Like if we're playing like North in a couple weeks, we still have to focus on the next game and just take it day by day. It starts with coach's model of winning every practice. So every single practice we're going in there, trying to work as hard as we can, um, making sure we're focused, but um, pushing each other uh, to the most. And uh, I think that really just getting the sort of game situation experience that we need within each practice has helped us a lot in the past and I think it's going to continue to help us and then just having a group of competitive guys with lots of energy on the team I think that certainly helps um, just getting the whole team fired up and excited but at the same time we have the right leadership to control that and use it in such a way that we're getting better every day and we're working hard. The rapid rise of the Needham program has not happened by coincidence. It is in large part due to the leadership, connection, and unselfishness of every player on the team. It's a couple of things. I think that obviously great coaching and having um, strong coaches that people want to play for and um, having that as a backbone certainly is attracting people and is part of the reason why they're working hard. I think that leaders like Thomas who have set the example through their own actions and stuff, working with the younger guys and um, through you know the rest of our team, I think that certainly uh, carries over and translates to um, pretty much all of our team. I'd say it's probably kids both being unselfish but also being able to adjust and really be flexible in what they're asked to do in the games because last year we played a lot of different styles and kids were put in some positions they hadn't always been in before and just kids when someone said like can you do this they weren't saying I've never done that and being afraid to make a mistake but instead they're like yeah I'll try and do that I'll at least give it my best. Uh, we've had some good teams in the past that didn't really have a like a hard working attitude kind of just like a uh, whatever kind of attitude and I think that the best thing that um, that the last two years, uh, the two teams that I've really three years of, that I've been a part of, um, we've really we've had leaders that have dialed everybody in and kind of um, you know had everyone else uh, leave uh, lead by example. So I think that coming into that role last year a little bit for me and um, this year especially, uh, I'm hoping to kind of uh, provide that kind of incentive to work hard and. and kind of get everyone going, uh, as I did from guys like Andrew Bronstein and Jack Alberton when I was younger. I feel like we've, we've all, like I said before, we've all been playing with each other for seven years now, and I feel like that chemistry really bids in, and not a lot of other teams have that. We've been playing together, running together, we've made great friendships, and that helps us play as a team. For the Needham Channel News, I'm Chris Dugan.